let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. I think it's just another typical JMU Richmond football game. You know, since about 2004, this game has, you know, come down to a touchdown or less with the exception of one game. And, you know, the home team hadn't won for a long time. Fortunately, we were able to win at home today. And it's just a great effort by our seniors and, uh, and, and, our, and our football team. You have to credit Coach Matthews and his staff and his kids for playing hard. But I'm even more proud of our guys for the effort that they gave today. I mean, the guys don't quit. They're resilient. and. Uh, you know, I wouldn't trade these guys for anything. I tell them that to every chance I get. Hey, Coach, how did you evaluate uh, Lop's play today? John's a little rusty, you know, but he gave us the ability to do some things that we hadn't been able to do for the last couple of weeks. He made some big throws, but um, you know, we've got to clean some things up. I think he forced a couple of throws, but that's just him trying to make a play. You know, we talked to him all week about not trying to win the game, you know, just to manage the game. And I think, uh, you know, he, he, if he had a, if he had to, if he had a few throws to take back, he would. But I mean, we're appreciative that he's back, and he gave us a great effort today. When did you make the decision to go with him? Uh, as soon as he got cleared. You know, uh, he, he was cleared by our doctors late in the week. And, you know, he practiced really for the last two weeks and, you know, just hadn't gotten clearance. But as soon as they cleared him, you know, we, we, uh, we made him our starter. Hey, Latrell, you, your kicker hasn't missed a field goal this year. <laughs> I wonder if that helps going into OT. Do you think you had an advantage in that respect? You know, Will, Will's a different bird. You know, have you ever seen a kicker ice himself? <laughs> uh, but, you know, we've got – Total confidence in Will. You know, we, we talk all year about the confidence that Will has in himself. He has a swagger uh, that you know a lot of guys don't have. You know, Will's a real football player, and uh, this, this team is proud of Will and appreciative of Will. I mean, he uh, he embodies you know what what the fight is in this team. Can you talk about the defensive series members on? Just another great stand by our defense. You know, we asked the guys to go out and make a play, and they did it. And, you know, when you look at guys that made plays on that drive, you know, you, know, you got Martin Parker, you got McBride, you know, you have Sully that made the last play. You know, those are fifth-year seniors that have been in a lot of great football games around the University of Richmond, and you know that's what we expect from those guys because that's what they give us. Can you uh, talk about your thought process on uh, second half down at the one? This fourth down, you looked like you originally going to go for it, but then well, so. just had to reevaluate it and just uh, you know, obviously your ego you know wants wants to make you punch it in, but I think in that situation you have to take the points, and uh, you know we tied it up at 10-10. You know, we felt like our defense was playing well, and we thought we'd get the ball back and be able to drive it again. But I think in that situation, you always have to put points on the board if you have the opportunity to. Justin, could you talk about the passion through the setup that you Uh, Yeah, it was just a reverse pass that I, we've been practicing it I mean, pretty much for the last couple of weeks. I've been waiting for them to call it, you know. Uh, and I never thought we would run it, but – and they – Put me in there. I just wanted to uh, suppose design to get a touchdown, but uh, <laughs> we, uh, we got on like the one or two yard line. So I mean, it's kind of good being a quarterback in high school, getting to throw it at least you know still uh, in my college career. So uh, it's just a pass off a of reverse that I've been waiting for, and uh, it was successful. So um, did you run the route shallow, or did you not get the pass for you? Nah, I, I put it on the money. But, <laughs> uh, it, it was a, it was a corner route. He, he he flattened it out. You know, I was expecting him to run it to the back of the uh, end zone, but uh, he he, he kind of broke it off. And, you know, he still caught it. That's when that's all that matters. So, do you have arm sore at all after not throwing for five years? Nah, nah, I keep it warm. I keep it warm. <laughs> The defensive guys, they were able to run the ball with some of them in that first quarter. Um, what changed after that? Did you guys make an adjustment or just play better? Um, I think the biggest thing in the first quarter is we weren't hitting our gaps as hard as uh, we've been playing in the past. And um, that was the biggest adjustment that our coaches were making on the sideline and at halftime is that we need to come more downhill because um, they were able to get good push with their offensive line. I mean, they're a good team and they're well coached. And uh, they knew exactly what they were doing when they were running their zone read. So um, I think that was the biggest adjustment in the second half. We just were coming more downhill and getting more push off the line of scrimmage. Tyler, you can talk about that playing over time. Um, well, it was, I think it was a like third and ten. <laughs> It was third and ten, and um, coach always harps on never quitting, never quitting, just keep on fighting. And I think he kind of broke contain a little bit, and I just fought till the end. And I actually thought I missed the tackle, but um, I saw him fall down and forgot it was still we still had another down to play and ran off the field celebrating. <laughs> but it was just one of those plays where you just got to keep on fighting. It's Jamie Richmond, you know it's going to come down to a game like that.
Can you talk about that experience being in this rivalry and knowing that the game's not over until it is actually over? We knew about that coming in. Like, we knew if he would ask me before the game, I would have said it would have been, it would have been last minute of the game or overtime is when the game's going to be decided, and that holds true today. Tally, you got clipped there uh, went down. Did you think that you were injured seriously? Well, it was um he hit me right in, right in the knee and um it was my good knee and I was um <laughs> kind of scared because I felt it like stretch for a little bit and um I, I I got scared for a minute there but you know I just I got up and started feeling fine so just kept on playing. Tell it, um, Eric actually talked about not too many practices enough for the seniors. How do games like this make you feel going to the last? All week, uh, me and some of the fifth years, we all been talking about, you know, this is our last Jamie Richmond game. We're never going to have another one. So we're just going to keep on fighting. And if we keep on fighting, we know we're going to win. A couple more? Yeah, you also, Tyler, you also recovered the fumble and you see the ball on the ground and get after it. Yeah. Um, I think, um, well, they're running zone read. I think they're reading me. And um, their quarterback just kind of mishandled the, the handoff and put it on the, put it on the ground. So I just got to jump on it. Um, I was really just running away from the team because I'm claustrophobic, and I was not going to get on the bottom of one of those piles. And then you jumped into the stands. I mean, that was just instinct. Uh, I don't know. Nothing. Nothing really was going through my head at that point. What was going through your head before the kick, and why'd you call the timeout? With the um, well, I jogged out there. I thought we had longer than we did, but when I was taking my steps back, um, I saw four seconds on the clock, and I knew we, were, we won't be able to get the, the snap off. So I thought the best thing to do would be take the take the timeout and just ice myself. Did that put any extra pressure on you? What were you thinking after the timeout? Um, it really didn't. I mean, 30 seconds isn't that big of a deal. I kind of liked it. Got to clear my head. So um, it was just another kick, just like practice and just like anything else. You had to know that it was going to come down. That it probably was going to come down to a, to a game-winning kick. Talk about your. Um, I realized probably start of overtime. Uh, I need to probably start getting ready just because uh, against Elon we blocked their field goal and I knew our defense towards the end of the game was just. Really holding them, holding them pretty much nothing. So I figured that either be a blocked field goal, missed field goal, or turnover on down. So I was ready as soon as we got the ball to kick the 42 yarder. Luckily, they got me a little bit closer because uh, that field goal would not have probably gone past 21 yards. <laughs> John, you talk about coming back and uh, your, evaluate yourself, I guess, for this um, Well, all week. Coach Scott and Coach Limmer have just been talking about manage the game and per, uh, protect the ball. Um, and I think I need to do a better job of protecting the ball a little bit. I forced some throws. Um, but uh, I just tried to manage the game as uh, best as possible. And, um, you know, we kept on fighting. And then at the end there, we uh, were pushing them off the ball and gave Will an opportunity to win the game. I know you've been itching to get back. How did it feel to get finally, finally get back out there? Uh, it felt real good. Um, I've been waiting to be cleared for the past couple weeks. so. Uh, when they uh, when they gave me the go, I was really excited. Jim, when was it? When did you find out you'd be starting this game? Uh, I forget the day, but later in the week. And then um, Coach Scott came to me, and they made the decision uh, that I was going to start. And he just kept on saying, "Manage the game, protect the ball," and that was the uh, that was the keys going into this game. Their defense uh, obviously didn't give up too many points. Can you tell me what happened on that big touchdown throw? Um, well, it's just a play designed to uh, to. Just First off, play action fake to try and get the safeties to come up, and then we Trey made a great move, and uh, you know the line protected well, gave me enough time to just put the ball up, and Trey made a play. 